I'm Zach Garcia, and uh, I live in Gilbert, Arizona. Um, lately, I've been really passionate about bacon. Uh, who doesn't love bacon, right? <laughs> Even vegetarians love bacon. Um, so uh, I always like to kind of start with why uh, lately. My business partner, Jonathan's here, um, and we, we've been asking ourselves why. So why not just go to the store and buy some bacon? Well, I'll tell you why. Um, it, it leaves a lot to be desired. Um, you know, when, it, when it's cured, it's cured with a lot of water, and so when you cook it, it and you throw it in a frying pan, it spits up at you, and it shrinks down, and, and uh, it, it just leaves a lot to be desired. I don't know what else to say. Um, now, I'm not here to disparage the good name of bacon, believe me. <laughs> Store-bought bacon will do in a pinch. Uh, and it can certainly be as good as, as a good artisanal uh, a bacon can be found in stores, et, et cetera. Um, restaurants, there are certainly some restaurants out there that are absolutely killing it, so uh, please don't misunderstand. So do it yourself. Do it at home, and that's what I'm here to do is encourage you guys to make bacon at home. Um, it's, it's a pretty straightforward process, um, and I'll quickly kind of go through how it's done. Um, you need a couple of things. You need pork belly, obviously, um, which some people might not realize, but uh, bacon is made from the belly of a pig. Uh, you need pink salt, and you need a little bit of time, and you need some other salts as well, uh, regular kosher salts and, and sugars, et cetera. But uh, for the most part, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So finding pork bellies is not exactly the easiest thing in the world. Uh, you're not going to go to the grocery store and, and find fresh pork bellies. Uh, Asian markets are a, a great source for uh, so producing uh, or sourcing uh, fresh pork bellies. Um, you know, your specialty meat and butcher shops are certainly going to have them. The internet, of course, is another good source for uh, uh, your pork bellies. So uh, pink salt is one of those things that you're not going to find in the store. Um, you're probably going to have to go to the internet. I buy mine from Amazon.com of all places. <laughs> they carry everything, right? So um, you're going to buy, I don't know, it's five, ten bucks for a, a, a good size package. And you, and you use very little, so um, you know, don't, don't sweat that. Uh, pink salt is curing salt. Don't try to sprinkle it on your popcorn. It's not to be eaten. Um, yeah. So that's why that, that Ziploc bag is labeled. Uh, so uh, a lot of people don't realize you can take your bacon in a lot of different directions. You can, uh, you can go savory, you can go sweet. You know, savory, you put some garlic in there, some peppercorns, uh, herbs. Uh, you go sweet, you go uh, maybe a little maple syrup or some, some sugar. So uh, a lot of different ways you can go there. Uh, you also need time. Uh, I cure mine for about seven to ten days. Um, seven days mostly because I'm impatient. Um, <laughs> but uh, the longer you leave it in there, the, the uh, better concentrated that flavor is going to be. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to cut your bellies into uh, sizes that will fit into a Ziploc bag. You're going to put your cure on it, throw it in the fridge for seven to ten days, and uh, pull them out, rinse them off, and um, they're ready to be cooked at that point. So if you have a smoker, smoke them. Um, smoke them if you got them. Um, but it, you don't have to use a smoker. Um, you can use a, a regular oven. Uh, smoking obviously changes the, the flavor profile of, of your bacon. So uh, definitely smoke it if you, if you can. But I have a, a pretty good oven recipe. Um, if you see me over in the corner over there later, um, and I'll post it to my Twitter feed tonight. There's a really good oven, actually an oven smoked recipe. You use some wood chips to, to smoke it. Um, so either way, whether you cook it in an oven or in a smoker, it's going to be cooked to 150 degrees. Um, don't overcook it. Don't undercook it. Get a good meat thermometer and, uh, and check your temperatures. Um, what you're left with is, is, like you see here, a beautiful slab of, of bacon that you can slice up into uh, you know, strips or lardones or, or whatever your, your fancy is. Uh, put them in the oven, cook them on a, a baking sheet uh, is what we like to do. Uh, fry them in a pan. Um, either way, it's going to produce the, the best tasting bacon you, you've ever had in your life. Uh, your friends and your family are going to beg you to make bacon. <laughs> uh, dude. Um, so I told you it could be done, and I have proof that it can be done. If you make your way over to Chef Tracy Dempsey's table, um, I made about, well, I made 10 pounds, but I gave her six pounds uh, <laughs> to, use, to use in the, uh, the, the cookie treat that, that she made. So uh, 
Enjoy that. Thank you guys very much. That's my time. Have a great night.